What's up guys, my Space here. Today I'm going to show you how to build the smallest ever 9 digit combination lock. It is a total of 3 by 3 by 2 So here it is. Well, in a nice form. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Knuckleberry came here for some, uh, you know, sushi. At the sushi restaurant slash temple. But for me to go get it, I need to get into the secret refrigerator slash fridge. And to get into there, I need to enter the code. Now, the code, you can enter as fast as you want. And you can press same buttons twice, no matter how many times. And it's so simple to make. So here's the code. There, there, there. There, 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 there. there. There and there. There we go. I'll open. You can walk here, and then the minute I go into this block and over, the doors will close behind me. As you can see, I come in here, get the sushi. Wait, jeez. Never mind. They're not gonna eat that much. Yeah. Two. <laughs> two. Me. Two powerful fish. And then we just open it, walk out, close behind us, or we'll close by itself. And then, here's just, uh, oh, this is the worst restaurant I've ever built in my life. One. No. Oh. No, I'm also the worst waiter. Two. Three. Oh, look, it's on the table. Yeah. There we go. And then, and then for you, there's your fish and your puffer fish. Enjoy your meal. Okay, so how does this work? So right back here, you can see this is basically what the button's activating. So first you have to set an objective by going scoreboard. Just press tab to extend it. Objectives, add call it whatever you want I just call it like lock and then a dummy variable which means uh, like zero to a million zero to infinity you know just numbers counting 1 to 10 11 12 13 okay and then this is what it would look like when it displays inside so you, the first lock here that I wrote is what you're going to be typing into the command blocks and this lock is what you're going to see on the side over here so that's how you do that I've already done it and then you say scoreboard plays add at p lock then after I did that I just added random numbers and here it's remove 12,000 remove so instead of add it's just remove add 9,000 add Remove, 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 add. Okay, and then there's a command block down here. This one, if you can just get it. Now, it's not that long. It's just up to there. It says test for at p. So you check down here. You see at p is nearest player. And then the score of their lock equals. 2850 and then comma score lock underscore minimum equals 2850 so the first part over here says score lock equals 2850 that means 2850 and over will unlock it but if you add minimum 2850 that will mean the minimum is 2850 and the most is 2850 so it has to be 2850 and then this is just within a radius of 20 it's to trying to detect okay now when that's true this computer is going to turn on which turns on that which powers this redstone uh, and pulls back the uh, pistons then this over here is testing if someone's bar that door there um, within a radius 3 of that location which is through the door 
and then it will set your lock to zero which will be closing the door because uh, it's not 2850 like it has to be so when it tests again they'll turn off which turns off everything and over here I've set up to show you that it can go with multiple doors so I'll show you the first code one two one two and uh, one here and then you'll see a recent torch get placed like so and I press this button to just set it to zero and make that disappear you'll see it places a in both locations every time I press it and then the next code is there and once who did I press it twice? Yeah, I'll just take the risk and press it again. Oh, yeah, I'll have to press it again. Then press that, and then you'll see a torch there. So, how does this one work? Well, if I come here, I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, nope. Um, yeah, here it is. Like, <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I wasn't basically doing, I didn't have it set to zero by myself because I'm not going to fly all the way there to set it to zero, to set a button. So test four, again lock 6637 because it's different numbers and then minimum 6637 within a radius of 200. And then it will place a block at those coordinates which is a resonant torch. Then exactly the same here just a different number within a radius of 200 and it will place a torch at that location so thanks for watching like comment subscribe cheers and i'll see you all in the next one